Hey guys, it's River Thames. welcome back to another video and I know I haven't uploaded in a week but it's because I've been very busy studying and all kinds of things. So I'm back with another video today on Yoda. Now this video about Yoda is going to be everything that he can block or absorb. I'm going to go through every single piece of equipment, ability for the classes, the reinforcements and the heroes, you know, the vehicles and stuff you can't test unfortunately but a lot of the stuff is going to be in this video so it's going to be a huge deep dive on Yoda to hopefully get you guys some more information on him. But before we get into the video I have an announcement that some other game changers and I are going to dice this week to capture Geonosis and Obi-Wan Kenobi. So we're going to be playing that this week so if you have any video ideas that you want to see from Geonosis or Obi-Wan for when it is released be sure to let me know as I'll have the time to prepare these videos to release just when they arrive. I might even do a vlog of this, so you never know, you might see a proper River Thames face reveal on this channel. So let's get into the Yaddo tests. Now if you saw my testing, just testing the Battlefront in general uh, a couple weeks ago, you'd see that I did the proximity mines for Bosk and the secondary fire for Iden Versio. Now these are both true in multiplayer, the thing is I just want to go over them. So Iden's secondary fire, you can shoot it just that bit faster in arcades than multiplayer. Which is a bit weird because it should realistically be the same. But don't worry about it because Yoda can literally block a fully charged uh, secondary fire from Iden. I've seen it many times in multiplayer playing throughout this week and it is definitely true with Bosk's proximity mines is that you may still take damage because the mines are spread over a place so there might be a mine behind you and it triggers but you might block some in front of you so you have to make sure that you are walking directly into all of the mines if you're just standing on top of the mines you're only blocking from your front so the rest of you is still vulnerable to damage but if you walk into it, then you can block it. So those are both still very true. Next up, I've gone over it a few times now, but just for the sake of the video, you can actually absorb friendly fire. So this is, you can have Han Solo shoot you and say, hey man, just uh, shoot my hand quickly and you will actually build up that blast of fire from a teammate. So it's a really quick way and a very good tip in Hero Showdown actually, I use it quite a lot to just get that quick quick charge up to take down perhaps two lightsaber heroes which you wouldn't have been able to absorb too easily. So keep that in mind that it is a very very good tip to have. Now on to some explosions. Now splash damage. Yoda can take splash damage, a thermal detonator. Like I said it's the same thing with Bosk's mines. You can only block it if it's in front of you. You know that little a uh, yellow outline that is where you can block from. So if a grenade is to your side or behind you, you will still take damage. Now into one that I think all of us want to know is the flashbang from the officer. Now I'm not going to talk too much on it, but basically you can't block it. You can block the damage from it I guess, but because it goes all over the place, you're never really going to not take any damage because, you know, it just splits off into so many fragments, some can go behind you, and all over the place but you will still get flashed so it is unfortunate you can't block that but nevertheless you could not take as much damage next up we got the vanguard and yes you can block the vanguard what's pretty special about this is that from one vanguard charge you can actually fully load up your unleash ability and i think that's really cool because you know vanguard does a very very hefty amount of damage to a hero so I guess all of that counts towards the unleash. So I guess you can get a, a few multi kills if you absorb a vanguard. Next up the iron grenade for the assault class. Now I don't think many people use this actually but it is actually very good. It explodes on impact and does a decent amount of damage to troopers. And yes you can block it. Um, not much more to say but yes you can. <laughs> Next up is the Flash Pistol. Now I've tested out the Flash Pistol a while ago and basically the way this works is your left bumper or your left click will fire off a flash and the other one, your right or right click will fire just a standard pistol. The thing with the Flash Pistol is 
You can't block the flash, but you can block the blaster fire from the pistol. So ultimately if you get hit by a flash pistol as Yoda, which realistically isn't going to happen very often, you can block the blaster fire but just not the flash. So it's really not working in Yoda's favour. The impact grenade. Yes, you can block a impact grenade. It literally just dissolves. <laughs> it literally just disappears right in front of you. So that's always nice to know. Let's get into the heavy class now. So the sentry guns, the massive rotary cannons. Can you block the standard one? Yes, you can block all of these sentry guns, the supercharged and the explosive. The explosive does massive splash damage. The supercharged is very, very powerful, but Yoda can completely absorb all of it. So that's really good to know. The only thing I would suggest being careful with with this is you want to use your unleash as soon as it's ready because they can fire off these heavy sentries for quite a while. So you want to watch your stamina so you don't overheat. The homing shot for the officer, like I said, it's something that's probably not going to be used too often because it's in the same slot as a flashbang. And you know, officers don't, they don't go into Galactic Assault without a flashbang. For the sake of the video, it actually cannot be blocked. You will still get hit with a homing shot. So unfortunate, but like I said, it's not gonna happen too often. The shot grenade from the specialist class, you know how it kind of electrically charges an area where if you walk into it, you'll slow down and take some damage. And I was kind of thinking it could, but unfortunately it doesn't. My thought process was if you could walk into Bosk's mines and kind of overturn them, then it could work for that, but it doesn't unfortunately. So be careful because you will stay, take damage from a shot grenade. The Stinger Pistol, yep, it can be absorbed. I'll just start speeding this up. The Detonite Charge from the Heavy, Laser Trip Mine, and the Repulsor Cannon can be absorbed as well. Like I said, these are things that are not very common to be used, but you know, it's one of those things that if you're in a situation with Yaddo, you can take on all of these pieces of equipment with confidence. Next, we got the Sonic Imploder for the Death Trooper. This is basically their grenade, which flashes, reveals, and does some damage. Thing is, like exactly like the flashbang, you could sustain some less damage, but you can't block the flash. So I guess you can block any kind of damage that would be done from the grenade, but unfortunately you'll still get blinded. Next we got the aerial launcher, and no, it cannot be. The launcher just, a direct hit from a launcher from the aerial class will just damage Yoda instantly. So that's it for basically the troopers, but let's get into the heroes. Now I wanna make something clear with the heroes that I spoke about a while ago. And that's any force power from a hero can be blocked by Yoda. But the thing is that when Yaddo blocks this, he actually gains the unleash absorption. So he's, it's literally like how the law should be. He's absorbing force powers, which can then be pushed back into something of his own power. So that's force freeze, force pull, uh, Vader's choke, Darth Maul's choke hold, any kind of force power you can think of. Palpatine's chain lightning, Palpatine's standard lightning, Palpatine's electrocute, all of these can be blocked. The only things that cannot be blocked by Yoda in terms of a hero is a lightsaber hit or like a, a dash. So Maul's saber spin, lightsaber throw, Darth Vader's lightsaber throw, Kylo Ren's frenzy cannot be blocked, Boba's rocket barrage cannot be blocked unfortunately. Phasma, believe it or not, can actually not uh, hit a Staff Strike if Yoda is blocking. If Yoda's blocking, he can take on that Staff Strike, which I think is pretty cool. Not something that you'll see too often because Staff Strikes isn't the most reliable ability, but just keep in mind that Yoda can block it, which is pretty cool. But with Bosk, like I said in the beginning, you can block the Proximity Mines, but you cannot block his Grenade Launcher which I think is really important to know because you might think, okay, if I can block this, then I can block that from Bosk. But unfortunately, you can't. So be sure to keep your distance from Bosk if you're going up against him. And finally is Aiden. Now Aiden, like we said in the beginning, you can block the secondary fire, basically a direct hit. But you guys might see that 
Ray and Luke can uh, block Iden's stun droid and they kind of flinch a little bit but they won't get stunned. With Yoda, you can't actually block this. You will still get stunned if you are in, a, in that blocking stance. So be careful of that because in my experience, I actually thought it worked, but out after the countless times of getting stunned, I realized that it doesn't and I finally put it to the test and you still get stunned. So just keep that in mind. So to close out this video, we're just gonna say that the presence can get you out of any stun at all. If you're getting choke hold by Maul, just before you get thrown, you can escape from the choke. If you're in a choke from Darth Vader, using your presence healing ability, you can completely exit from that. Same thing with freeze, force pull, all kinds of things. So that is a, a pretty much everything you can know about Yoda's block in this video. I think at this stage in Battlefront 2 and my channel, I don't think there is anything more we can go into Yaddo. So I guess that is one hero that we finally have every single piece of information on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, yeah, so my announcement, like I said in the beginning, I am going to DICE this week to play Geonosis and Obi-Wan. So if you have any ideas, anything you want to see, please let me know. And yeah, I may even record the vlog. So thanks for watching, it's been River and I'll see you in the next video.